is the big piece that, that we've been looking for. And with that commitment, we really feel much better about going forward. All right, that was Governor Edwards in the Oval Office today as he thanked the president and federal government for a promise to send 200,000 coronavirus tests a month to the state. Governor Edwards says those tests will allow Louisiana to reopen in the coming weeks. Good evening, I'm Karen Swenson. Katie Moore will join us in just a moment. Governor Edwards spent this morning at the White House talking with President Trump about the state's response to the coronavirus. Edwards said the state is in a much better position now than what was initially predicted a few weeks ago. He says, we've done a good job flattening the curve. In fact, only about 200 people were treated at the field hospital in the convention center, which had a capacity of 1,000. And it was a cordial meeting between the president and Governor Edwards, and that is a stark difference between how the Republican president and many other Democratic governors interact. Danny Monteverdi explains. The campaign trail last year in Louisiana was rough and rowdy. You need to replace radical, liberal John Bell Edwards. And Edwards delivered a down-home dig to the president after eking out a second term. God bless his heart. But months later, the governor and president, who butted heads during the campaign, were all smiles at times when they met Wednesday at the White House. John Bell is testament to attesting is one of the great reasons that you've been successful in Louisiana. Yes, sir, with a lot of help uh, from, from our federal partners. The stark difference between the Trump-Edwards relationship then and now has made headlines. But Eyewitness News political analyst Clancy Dubo says it makes perfect sense. He realizes that he needs the president to be sympathetic to the needs of his state. Dubo says the reality is Trump responds better to those who show him thanks than those who criticize. Governor Edwards, like Governor Andrew Cuomo of New York, feels that you catch more flies with honey. But there's another difference. Edwards, the West Point graduate who trained in crisis management in the military, also isn't one to play the blame game. You don't see a lot of military leaders pointing fingers. They accept responsibility and they lead. And that's what the governor's done. It's what he's been trained to do since he got out of high school. Dubo says that while it's far from ideal, politics is a game of transactions. The governors who are doing the most good for their states in terms of getting help from the feds are doing like the little character Oliver Twist. Please, sir, I'd like some more. And in this case, he says, uh, a deferential attitude has paid off. We're looking forward to moving ahead and, and just appreciate your work and, and your... Danny Monteverdi, Eyewitness News. As a footnote, the State Health Department tells our partners at the Times-Picayune and New Orleans Advocate that at some point they will need more than those 200,000 tests a month. They say they'll need more to keep reopening the state once that process begins.